Hey everyone, Ari Mopur here, and today we're going to get started with the Raspberry Pi 5. If you're familiar with the Raspberry Pi family, this is the newest one, the most powerful one, packed with a very powerful processor and a whole bunch of different peripherals on it. We're going to show you how to flash the micro SD card, the tool that's needed for that, bring up the board in real time, and then run a special little demo that we designed initially for the Orange Pi 5, but we're gonna show how you can run that same thing, AI on the edge, with the Raspberry Pi 5. So get out your Raspberry Pi 5, join me. Let's get started. All right, so we're gonna take this in stages here, and one thing that I want to get started with is the imaging tool. We've gone through this quite a few times, the Belena Etcher we've used for other embedded devices and the Raspberry Pi imager I've spoken about in the past. If you're not familiar with it, Raspberry Pi themselves has their own kind of variant of Belena Etcher, which basically automatically pulls the image that you're looking for and burns that or uh, flashes that image onto a micro SD card. So first of all, what you're going to need is your micro SD card. It's a little bit hard to see here, but in the past, I've recommended the kind of like ultra or extreme fast versions of the SD cards. Uh, nowadays, with how fast the processors are and the GPUs and everything on board on these embedded devices, it's kind of become a requirement. Luckily, the speed, the cost of which these micro SD cards have like gone down tremendously. So they're basically, let's say if you go back a couple years, the ultra or extreme versions are the same price as what the original versions used to be a few years ago. So TLDR, get yourself like one of the extreme or max or ultra, the high speed ones, uh, micro SD cards. <clears throat> I'm using 128 gigabytes. You could get by with 64 gigabytes. Uh, 256 is also great. Um, you can also, as you've seen in my Orange Pi tutorial, you can install an NVMe on an Orange Pi, Raspberry Pi 5. Uh, you can't really do that, uh, except unless you have a hat, a special hat that goes on top, like an Arduino shield. Anyways, we're going to get started with the Raspberry Pi imager. If you go to raspberrypi.com forward slash software, you will see right directly on the homepage to install the Raspberry Pi uh, imager. And that's right over here. So again, you can just, you know, Google Raspberry Pi imager, and it's right over there. So I have this up and running. First of all, I want to select my device. In this case, I have the Raspberry Pi 5, um, but it has all the other devices, which is really nice. And then uh, you choose the OS. So this is really cool too. All the OS says everything is baked in. It'll automatically download it. You don't need to do anything. Uh, this is um, super, super, super nice. I really like this kind of feature. They've added this over the years. And then right over here, you just select the Raspberry Pi OS. We're going to get the vanilla desktop version, you can start experimenting with Ubuntu or emulation game OSs and a whole bunch of other specific purpose OSs. We're just going to work with the straight Raspberry Pi OS for now, but I absolutely encourage you to go experiment with different, different OSs and post comments here in this video. Tell me, you know, what you found and what you thought and what, what you think would be interesting to look at in the future. Hit that, choose my storage. And in this case, like I said, I have 128 gigabyte MMC storage. So I hit there, hit next, and it's going to uh, give me a warning. Do you want to um, <clears throat> use some settings? I have some customization settings. I set my locale, uh, username and password, so on and so forth. You can just skip that, say no, uh, and then you can continue from there. So I've actually um, flashed my drive, so I'm gonna skip this process, but it should take a couple minutes, uh, really just a couple minutes, it's pretty quick. Um, are you sure you wanna continue? Hit yes, and then it'll flash it. So now we're going to load the device itself uh, coming next. Okay, so I'm going to power on my Raspberry Pi device for the first time, and it takes a couple minutes. I am using a five volt, five amp USB-C um, power adapter, and that power adapter is, also I can use that for the Orange Pi, which is really, really nice. Um, again, when you plug it in, it's going to take a couple minutes before the actual, you know, HDMI output shows up because that uh, it's trying to make some modifications to the file system and so on and so forth. So we have to wait a little bit for that to happen. OK, so now you see that it's up and running. This is going to take a couple minutes and we're just going to walk through the process of bringing up the device itself. 
again, we set a few things like the locale. If you don't set that, it's going to ask you to, to do some of that setup and so on and so forth. Also, keep in mind that the first time you set this up, you're going to need to set up a mouse and keyboard, which I'm going to plug in right now. So I've got my mouse and keyboard over here. I'm going to plug this in. And now you can see on the screen. So everything's all up and running, ready to go. I do need to set up my Wi-Fi and internet. So you go over here, set Wi-Fi country, or actually I need to completely set up my Wi-Fi in general. And there's, you know, a few settings, things like that. But if you see this, this worked out really fast, really easily. Um, this was a lot faster and simpler than in previous installations of the Raspberry Pi OS. This is kind of like an unobtrusive, uh, you know, unobtrusive setup. So this, if we go here, <clears throat> so you name, a, and this gives us all the information about our uh, distribution, things like that. And connect to my internet. And after that connects, we'll have internet connection. And we'll want to do some like basic sudo apt update um, dash y. So it'll d update, you know, the different uh, packages, the libraries, the drivers, things like that. So if you see over here, it's updating all of that. And we want to do sudo apt upgrade. It'll get us all the latest drivers and such. And um, I guess everything is up to date. I just pulled like the latest Debian package. So uh, that's kind of nice. And we can check some basic things like what kind of version we have of Python, Python 3.11.2. And uh, next, we're going to do a quick demo of another project that we used on the Orange Pi 5. So if you recall the Orange Pi demo that I did uh, in a previous video, we basically took the ability to do face detection with AI and ran that using the CPU and the GPU of the Orange Pi. So I'm going to do that demo here on the Raspberry Pi 5 and see how that performs. So I'm going to go to my repository over here. I'm going to, let's see. I'll make a directory called code and then I will download that repository. I'm sorry, I need to git clone that. Okay, so orange pie face detection. And if you recall from the readme, it gives us instructions on how to do all this. So first we need to install all of the dependencies. So if you see right over here, I'm going to run this script to install all the necessary libraries. And, you know, this can take a couple minutes to install all the dependencies. Um, lib OpenCV is kind of large, so that, and a lot of the dependencies for it, for the AI face detection and such can take a few minutes. So. We're downloading all of that now. After that, we'll install the pip package and then we'll run the demo. So let's take a look. I've also got my webcam installed over here. If you see, I've got a webcam. I'm going to be placing that in front of my face here. So we'll be able to look at it in real time and see if it's actually doing face detection. And this that you see here on the, and behind me, this is the output video feed that I'm feeding in uh, so this is literally the screen that you would have if you would plug this into a monitor. This is the same thing that you would have on your screen. So this is uh, unfiltered, unadulterated, unadulterated uh, uh, background of uh, the, the video feed, the direct HDMI output of my Raspberry Pi. Okay, so let's look at the rest of the requirements here one more time. So pip3 install OpenCV Python. Do that as well. I think it's going to give me a warning. Oh, pip three uh, install Python OpenCV. That was it. Pip three OpenCV Python. There we go. So 
Let's install that. Yeah, and it's going to say, do you want to do break system packages? It's entirely up to you if you want to use a Python ENV situation. Uh, I'm just going to break system packages in this case right over here. Okay, now let's go run the script. Python 3 face detection. Python 3 face detection. And there I am. Let's see. Oh, and it looks like it is detecting my face. Look at that. Okay, let's see how it goes with the GPU. Let's see if it picks up the GPU. Okay. Um, use GPU. And it does. Look at that. Hello, hello. And it picks up my face. So there you go. Same exact example that we used with the orange pie. We are using that with the <coughs> Raspberry Pi 5. So hope you enjoy this tutorial. Little bare bones, uh, but at, at least it gets you up and running. There's so much to do with the Raspberry Pi 5. Uh, lots of things you can enjoy. Please post all your links and share everything that you've done so we can also enjoy to see what you've done with the Raspberry Pi 5. So today we looked at the Raspberry Pi 5. We showed you how to image the micro SD card using the Raspberry Pi imager tool, which was really great, all kind of all in one solution. And then we brought up the board in real time and you were able to see that it took a little time to boot up, but as soon as it booted up, everything was ready to go, locked and loaded. After that, we took a little sneak peek at the edge detection, face detection at the edge AI example that was designed for the orange Pi 5, but we were able to run the same exact code, same exact project, on the Raspberry Pi 5, both on the CPU and the GPU. If you enjoyed this video, please check out the rest of the videos in this channel. Hit that subscribe button and definitely hit that like button. Thanks for watching.